Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. If you watched our previous coverage of the Arduino Nano 33 PLE, you must be aware of the fact that the Arduino Nano 33 has an onboard color sensor, proximity, guest chill, and the temperature and humidity sensor. But that's not all. There's an onboard 9-axis IMU, there's an onboard barometer, and an onboard microphone. So, this video is going to cover the latter of the three sensors. And without further ado, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to RoboCrease. My name is Thomas, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the remaining three sensors on the Arduino Nano 33 PLE. So that includes the 9-axis IMU, the onboard barometer, and the onboard microphone. To see the coverage of, our rem of the remaining sensors, which includes a color sensor, gesture sensor, light sensor, proximity, temperature, and humidity, please check out our previous video on the series. To get started, open Arduino IDE. Make sure you have downloaded the libraries required for all the onboard sensors. I've already explained the list of libraries to download and how to download in our very first video on the Nano 33 VLE series. But in short, for this particular tutorial, you will need Arduino LSM 90 S1 library, which is the library for the 9-axis nine, nine IMU. You will need the Arduino LPS 22 HB, which is the library for the pressure sensor. And you will need a library called PDM, which is the library required for the microphone. So for the first example, I will be choosing the LSM 90 S1 and clicking on simple accelerometer. The example will open up right here. There's a short description on what the program exactly does right here that you can read through. This, this line imports the LSM 90S1 library onto the sketch and the void setup function initializes the serial monitor and initializes the IMU using dot begin function. You read the values from the accelerometer by using the IMU.acceleration available. And then you read the values and save it in onto a variable x, y, and z using the IMU.read acceleration. And you print the accelerometer values onto the serial monitor. To upload the code, take your Arduino Nano and click on the onboard button twice. This puts the Nano 33 BLE into programming mode as indicated by the onboard orange LED. To upload the code to the Nano 33 BLE, go to Tools, select the COM port, and click on Upload. Once the code is uploaded, go to Tools and select the COM port again since the COM code gets reset, and open the serial monitor. So in the serial monitor, you can see three columns of data, each representing each of the axes, that is the X, Y, and the Z axes. So if you notice the X and the Y axis measures close to zero while the Z axis close to 0 0.98, which is one. So that means there is an acceleration of one G in the Z axis, which happens to be straight down towards the earth. This is in fact measuring the earth's gravitational field. The X and the Y axis is close to zero since there's no gravitational force acting on these. Similarly, I can orient the Nano 33 into a different direction and you can see that the y-axis this time measures the acceleration from the Earth's gravity while the x and the z-axis is close to zero. And again, I can change the orientation in such a way that the x-axis measures the gravitational effect while the y and the z-axis doesn't. The neg positive and the negative sign is just due to the direction of the board. So if I just flip it the other way, you can see the x have in fact turned into positive values. So these values don't really make much sense. So instead of opening the serial monitor, I will open the serial plotter of the Arduino IDE. So to do that, close the serial monitor, go to tools and open serial plotter. Right here, we have a visual representation, in fact, a graphical representation of the sensor value that is coming from the Nano 33. And as I change the orientation of the Nano 33 BLE, you can see the corresponding X, Y, and Z axis changing the values. This sensor is in fact capable of detecting more than one G. So when I move my hand in different directions, you can see that the sensor is picking up those movements and displaying the graph accordingly. 
So that's it for the accelerometer. Moving on, the next sensor we will be covering is the OnBoost gyroscope. So to open the gyroscope example, again, go to files, go to examples, go to LSM 90 S1 and the example simple gyroscope. Click on it. A new window will open with the simple gyroscope experiment. Similar to the accelerometer code, the gyroscope also has a description that you can go through. It imports the Arduino LSM 90 S1 library. In the void setup function, it initializes serial monitor and it initializes the IMU, the onboard IMU, which contains the gyroscope. And in the void loop function, we declare three variables, x, y, and z, for the x, y, and z gyroscope values. We check the data available for the gyroscope through the imu.gyroscope available function. And we read the gyroscope values through the imu.readgyroscope values and store it in variables x, y, and z, like so. And we print the values on the serial monitor or the serial plotter. To upload the code, take your Arduino Nano and click on the onboard button twice. This puts the Nano 33 BLE into programming mode as indicated by the onboard orange LED. Go to tools, click on port and select the right COM port and click on upload. Once uploaded, go to tools, select the correct COM port and oh, you can open the serial monitor. But instead of opening the serial monitor, I'll directly open the serial plotter since the data from the serial plotter makes more sense. So go to tools and click on serial plotter. And as you can see, the values of the X, Y and the Z are very close to zero since the Arduino Nano 33 BLE is sitting still on the table. Now, as soon as I move it, the values spike up and it reads a gyroscope value. So if I twist it on one axis, you can see that the X axis spikes up and down uh, since the Nano 33 BLE sends a gyroscopic movement along the X axis. Similarly, I can do the same thing with the Y axis and the Z axis. Moving on, the next sensor I will be showing you is the onboard magnetometer. So to get the magnetometer example, go to files, examples, LSM 90S1 and simple magnetometer. A new window opens up with the magnetometer program. The code for the magnetometer is very similar to the previous accelerometer and gyroscope. And the code structure is same as well. So again, there's a small description on what the code does. It imports a library here. It initializes serial, uh, serial monitor and the IMU here in the void setup function. And it checks the magnetic field available and the read magnetic function to store the magnetic field values in the X, Y, and Z uh, variables in the void loop function. So similar to before, put your Nano 33 BLE into boot mode by double clicking on the onboard button. Go to tools, select the port and upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, select tools and click on serial plotter. Right now, the Arduino Nano 33 is sensing some magnetic fields around itself in micro Teslas. And as you can see by the X, Y, and the Z directions. So I can change the orientation and you can notice how the axes exchange between themselves and it reflects the same thing. For demonstration purposes, I have a very strong magnet with me and as I bring it closer to the nano, the magnetic field spike up to its maximum values. So this is an example of how you can use the Nano 33 BLE to detect the magnetic flux in its ambient surroundings. Moving on, the next sensor that I will be covering is the onboard barometer. So to access the barometer, go to files, examples, and Arduino LPS22HB. And we'll be selecting the read pressure sketch from here. Similar to before, there is a description on top of the code so that you can read through it. We import the library using this command here. 
we begin the serial monitor and we begin the parameter on the nano 33 in the void setup function. And in the while loop function, we read the pressure and we save it to a variable called pressure and we print the variable pressure into the serial monitor and we measure the pressure in kilopascals. So same thing as before to upload the code, put your nano 33 BLE into boot mode and click on tools, select port and upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, go to tools, select the port again, and we open the serial monitor. Here, the Nano 33 BLE measures the ambient pressure in the current, in the current setting that it's placed in. Quite a simple code, quite a simple sensor. The last sensor that I will be covering in this tutorial is the onboard microphone. To go to the microphone example code, go to file, examples and find PDM and click on PDM serial plotter. Similar to all the previous codes, there is a small description at the top of the sketch. And in this particular code, we include the library PDM. We initialize a few variables uh, regarding the buffer and the samples the reading. We initialize the serial monitor. We initialize a callback function here and we begin the PDM, uh, PDM module, which in other words is the onboard microphone in a particular sampling rate. That is the 16 kilohertz given here, right here. And the void loop functions, we keep reading the samples and we plot it in the serial plotter. To upload the code, put your Nano 33 BLE into boot mode by double clicking the onboard button. Go to tools, select the port and upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, go to tools, select the correct COM port, open serial plotter. Once you open the serial plotter, the Nano 33 BLE shows uh, the graph of the ambient sound it detects, including my voice. So to better represent what the microphone can detect, I have an online tone generator opened up in my web browser right here. This, web, this website can be easily found on Google and the link of this website will be given in the description below if you want to try it out for yourself. So this, basically, this website basically generates sound of a particular frequency so that we can visualize it right here in the serial plot. So right now it's set to 440 hertz and I can click on the play button to see what happens. I can keep increasing or decreasing the frequency of the sound produced using the slider and notice what happens to the graph when I increase it. As expected, as the frequency increases, the wavelength in the waveform generator decreases. So similarly, I can keep also decreasing and the wavelength should theoretically increase. At very low frequencies, the general environment sound usually oversteps over the low frequency sound. So the Arduino Nano 33 may not be able to detect in the current setting that I am in. But in a very quiet room, it definitely be able to detect a much more lower frequency sound. Pretty cool, right? The new Nano 33 BLE is more than an evolution to the regular Arduino Nano. And it contains a whole host of sensors that enables you to make a project without any requirement for an external circuitry or dedicated sensors. And to boot, this also has the capability of running machine learning algorithms so if you so desire, you can actually run machine learning models and algorithms in your project if you do need it to. So in the next video, I will be covering the BLE aspect of the Nano 33 BLE so that you will be able to communicate to this tiny little microcontroller from your phone or your laptop via Bluetooth. So make sure you subscribe to Robocrace, click on the bell icon so you won't miss our next video. And until then, stay safe and have a good day.